welcome 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 this is my 2023 whip parade i am so excited um to finally be able to sit down and do this i've got all of my whips organized um i'm gonna have to do it in sections because i think i have close to 70 i have had um quite a few finishes one two three four five six seven eight nine I've had nine finishes off of so I'm like I should be right at 70 because my list says 79 and I've had nine finishes so I should be like right at 70 um so let's start diving in um we're gonna do the whip parade first and then at the end I'm gonna start talking more 2024 plans um I have most of what I plan on starting pulled over here. There was a couple I couldn't find, so I'm gonna have to do some extra diving um, to find those, but um, this is gonna be a couple hours. Like, you already know how long this is, you clicked on it. Um, I'm telling myself up front, this is gonna be a couple of hours. Um, I've got lists upon lists in front of me. I've got 2024 plans. I've got my whip list in front of me. I've got my Pepsi. I have some Harry Potter um, Hershey's Kisses for some energy so I mean there will be I mean there will be breaks on my part because I will have to like shift the whips Pepsi is going to be needed to get me through this um, I'm sure there'll be interruptions too because it's a Friday afternoon and people are gonna be coming home so hopefully I get this done early enough to I've got dinner on the stove, so. <laughs> okay, let's dive in, let's get this started. We don't need a huge introduction. Um, let's go, whip number one. These are in order of my start date. So, um, oldest to newest. Um, I have, you just, if you watch my floss tube, you just recently saw this. I have Epic Mario in this adorable bag. This bag is from Allegro Stitches. I will call out bags as I, if I know them. I will definitely be showing you the bags. If I, um, but if I know them, I'll give you designers. Allegro Stitches on Floss Tube. And this is my Epic Mario piece. Um, I don't have a picture of the entire pattern. But it goes Mario through the ages. It's, I call it epic. Well, the title is Epic Mario. But on here it says Mario through the ages. Hopefully you're seeing that. Because I am behind this blanket. Um, but we've got a long way to go. I just finished the second row. So there is a lot more to go. Definitely. So... This is on 18 count Ada that I hand dyed myself until I got the perfect sky color that is the sky you see behind. I mean, in all the Mario games, I was, I had the blue. I mean, I have the blue in my mind. It's etched in my mind. If you are like me and a gamer of the 90s, um, early 90s, then yeah, definitely you were gaming this over and over and over in your house with no save no I mean we got extra lives but for the most part we had no save and we just had to start over and over and over and over okay number two these are um I'll let you know when we hit 2020 but these are all 2019 whips so far so um another 2020 whip is my Gryffindor whip this is in, in a Judy bag she has the front flaps, this inside fabric. I love this Gryffindor. I have all four of the bags like this. Um, this pattern is from DMX Stitch. Um, and I can get you a link if needed, but this is the stitched piece, what it will look like. This is a um, if you've watched me before, you've seen the guinea, so this is the companion piece, um, and I'm calling her Sarabi. So, this is Sarabi. This is how far I've gotten. It's not very much. It's literally just 
boop, right there. So I would like to get some good progress on her this year. Um, 2019 whips will be a focus for 2024, so we'll talk more about that later, but I would like to get some good progress on her. <laughs> Definitely like to get some good progress on these. Um, this is, these are whips number one, two, there's three of them left, so there's three whips in this bag because I have them on here individually. Those are the finished ones. I have this, it's also in a Judy bag and I love this fabric, but this was like one of the few that she's made into a zipper bag. This entire, let me just show you the cover, shall I? This is a dimensions kit and I made each one of these a whip. So I have finished three, I still have three more to go. So let me, since they're sitting right here, I'll show you the three I have finished. They are stinking adorable. I love them. The back stitch just really makes them pop and come to life. Um, the background stitches are um, half stitches, so or tent stitches, so you get more. The the fabric and the stitching in the front pops more. Good lord, the words. This is gonna be hard. There is supposed to be like specialty stitches or beads around the borders. Um, and all of them. I don't know that I'm going to do that, though. I think that they are fine. Um, okay, let's, let's show you the three that are in progress. Because <laughs> it's super awesome progress. Here's one of them. Here's another one. And here's another one. So it is one, one, five, and six that need to be done. One, five, and six. So these three need to be done. So hopefully those will get finished. This is, um, they're being stitched on like everything called for in the dimensions or given in the dimensions kit, including fabric. I've I did stitch it on the fabric in the kit as well. And then we have, this is a squeaky floor and chair and all the things, so bear with me. Um, I'm in my office, if you can't tell, I'm in a different location. So um, this is Magical Unicorn by Cute Pattern by Maria Bravko. This is what she will look like. She's absolutely glorious. There's a ton of back stitching and half stitches and or tent stitches or all the things. So I'm stitching this on the 18 count Ada, just navy blue. I don't know. Ooh, there we go. Um, oh, she's already looking glorious. I need to get her out and get working on her some more. But this is where she's at. Um. Still a 2019 whip as well. I have her in this amazing, oh, ooh, amazing Pinky Promises um, bag. The inside is just as good. So Pinky Promises, she's on Etsy. I try to put the whip, the fabrics towards the front so that the paper doesn't um, stick to the vinyl on these vinyl front bags. Because if they're like inkjet printed, I think they're, they they can the ink can transfer to the vinyl if it, the circumstances are right. I guess I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how it happens, but it does. Okay, next we have what do we have in here? Um, do 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 Universal Monsters. Yes, this is Universal Monsters. This is in a Judy bag. Oh, love, 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 love. Inside is spider webs. Okay. The whip itself is Universal Monsters by the Witchy Stitcher. Um, this is a digital pattern, so I don't have a picture of the entire pattern. But I am doing it in the grayscale option that came out after the entire... This was one time it was like good to be late to the game. Um, because after she had released the entire thing, she made a grayscale version. 
And so that is what I'm doing, but with pops of red. So his his eyes are red. We got the red rose, the red heart. I don't know what's gonna be red here yet, but that's where I'm at. Also, try to like fold them back in a different way every time. This is 18 count Ada that I dyed myself. Um, yeah, that's all I've got to say about that. It's also a 2019 whip. We are moving on to that was Universal Monsters a finished haunted home. So next is Vlog Wash Day. Vlog Wash Day and Witchy Washy Witchy Washy. Hopefully you guys can hear me when I'm bent. All of my whips are over here on the floor. That's the whole hence the whole reaching over here every two minutes. Um Vlad's Wash Day and Witchy Washy were started simultaneously. Um Oh, I've got Witchy Washy on top for some reason. Okay. Well, let's try again. This is Vlad's Wash Day. This is by Raise the Roof. There's the pattern. Um, it's like an actual picture and it appears to have gotten scratched. Oops. Um, there's a lot of buttons in there, um, but there is also a ton of stitching in there. So... This is what I have. This is hand dyed fabric by me because I went for the let's dip it in green so I have grass. And then I have the stormy sky above. So this is all I've gotten done. Big old giant pair of pants. Um, a 2019 whip that will definitely be getting some focus. Stitching. And this is in a. 805 stitcher bag Tara um, this is one of her bags uh, the inside just looks like spiders spider warning sorry I have I mean those are gonna be full of spiders and snakes and all the things so sorry that's just the way it's gonna be this is um, witchy washy and this is like a reprint because um, you can see what the original ones look like this is um, like a reprint um but there you go <laughs> I'm reading because they usually have some sort of a joke down here and it says have you ever cross stitched a bra well you will in this one it's right there um raise the roof is not in uh is not charting anymore but they a lot of their patterns are still circulating some of them have not some of them are out of print but I believe you can get all of these in multiple places. So um, check your ONS, LNS for that. So again, I dyed a huge piece of fabric and then cut it in half. Half for witchy washy, half for flat wash day. And you can tell this is the dress. However, I opted to go with a super fun variegated um, thread for the dress instead of just a solid black dress. Because that solid black stitching was not fun on those pants, so it wasn't going to be fun on this dress either. I believe this is a... a I think this... I know because this is her zipper pull, so this is an 805 stitcher bag as well. And the inside is the super, super fun purple. And I know that that's her zipper pull, so. That's 805. Uh -huh. Okay, next we have the Hade. The Hade of all Hades. Because, um, um, this is the only one I'm working. <laughs> the only one I've started. I have a ton of Hades. I just, this is the only one I've started on, so. That's the entire progress. I should maybe move my key snap. Look, it's putting a it's putting a line in there. Ooh, I don't like that. I should move my key snap. Oof. Okay. Well, um, there it is. And again, it will look it will look like this. This is Andromeda. Um, it's actually called Cutting, and it is on the Heaven and Earth. Um, designs website if you just search cunning it'll pop up 
There's cunning, loyalty, bravery, and wisdom, I believe, is Ravenclaw. And then Welcome Home is a really cool, um, I'm gonna leave that cue snap off, a really cool, um, just crest of like, like the Hogwarts, um, crest. Not the house crest, the ho overall Hogwarts crest. Okay, next, wrong way, next we have Grimm's Fairy Tales. I did this whole like thing where I relocated everything and I put it into different bags where they maybe would make more sense. And there was no way I could rehome Grimm's Fairy Tales, even though it's in this amazing um, Christmas folder type bag. I can rehome it. It's been in here since the beginning, and I'm just like, no. But this bag is amazing. It opens up. It's got pockets, inside pockets, inside pockets. I love this bag. And unfortunately, the maker of this bag is not um, making them anymore, to my knowledge. So... There's a hair. Of course, it's one of mine. I don't actually own any pets, so I just have boys. I know it's one of my hairs. This is where I'm at. This is still 2019 whips. Um, that's about halfway. Um, I am working on number six. This was a um, a sow that was released by uh, Clouds Factory. Um, I think in 2020. I mean, well, 2019, duh. It was released in 2019, um, and I did not keep up with it clearly at all. So I'm working on number six, which is down here. So once I have six complete, I mean, I will be halfway because they were released monthly. So there we go. There it is. Um... Oh, I dyed this fabric, 18 count Ada, that I dyed. That's all I got. That's all I got. I don't think I said this about the hay. That is on 18 count Ada, and I am doing that two over one. Two strands over one, yes. I did not shout that. It's, a, it's hard when you grab each whip to remember all of the things you need to say about each individual one. Okay, still... My bad, my bad. Grimm's Fairy Tales is actually a 2020 start. It was a 2020 sal, and it was started on January 5th of 2020. So that one is a 2020. Um, we are officially into the 2020 whips now. This one <clears throat> is a dot dot goose design bag, and this one, um. I don't want to take it into 2024 with me, actually. I have it sitting next to my chair downstairs so that I can, um, so that I can try to get this finished it here, this 2023, before 2020, this month. I need to get it finished in December. And hold, please, because I have somebody calling me that's what's distracting me right now. <laughs> okay. I knew this was going to be choppy. Um... My son is Christmas shopping and refused to um, call me later, take that, call me later as a, and he's like, no, I'm going to FaceTime you now instead because he's, how dare my mother not answer the phone when I need her? That is exactly his train of thought. Like, oh my God, what? You don't exist except like you are my mother. Like there's no, there's nothing else going on in your life besides being my mom how these boys think I should say that's how the oldest thinks the rest of them are kind of just but my oldest oh he's needy okay um this pattern is come in for a spell and it this is in a stony creek collection summer 2018 is where I got this pattern this is where I'm at he needs a face and then the branch and the words. And so I'm tr really trying hard not to bring this into um, 2024 with me. So hopefully a finish here in 2023, which is like another reason why I haven't actually made my 2024 whip list yet, because 
And I'm hoping to have a couple more finishes before I have to, um, before I end the year. So I don't think I'll actually make my 2024 whip list until 2024. <laughs> okay, this one is Scary Apothecary. This one is going to be a focus whip in 2024. For sure, I absolutely love this whip. And I just, she needs more love than just like once a year in whip go. So um, the section I'm working on right now is... Um, coffin store coffin store coffin shop this is by little stitch girl this was sold individually 12 different patterns it's spooky hollow and this is spooky hollow number four so if you go to her shop you can get like i have all of the um patterns in there i have all 12 this is where i'm at this is on 18 count ada that i dyed myself and i freaking love this fabric but, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is where I'm at. So, you can see I am on number four. The fourth shop. And then I will scooch down and do four there. And then do another four down there. So, it'll be a three by four situation. Um, there is a border on her website. Free border. So, um, <clears throat> I can't remember what it says. It has do It does have words in the middle. That it will say something. Um, this needle minder is the um, blonde witch from um, Hocus Pocus. I can never remember their names. Um, but doesn't she look like the logo from the Little Stitch Girl? Look. Little Stitch Girl logo. <sighs> what? <laughs> um, so she definitely lives on this whip. Um... Oops, I didn't even notice there was floss there. Ooh. Okay, I love the sidewalk. I love how fun the sidewalk is. The buildings, <laughs> kind of a beast. I'm not much of a house person, but like I filled in this barn vertically. You can see the variegation laid out vertically. Did this one horizontally. I think I did this one horizontally as well. Um, I don't maybe yeah horizontally it looks like so it's fun laying the variegation in different ways um the rest of the the town is going to be amazing um super excited for the rest of the town and actually let's let's display the rest of the town shall we Ooh, my pattern stuck to my vinyl cool just like I said Okay, we have number five. I kind of have them clipped together because some of them I have in bags and some of them I don't. So number five is the Pumpkin Park. And then number six is the library. <laughs> I love the library. Um, then we have the Sweets Shop as number seven. The Cemetery is number eight. And yes, there is a ghost in there. There's ghosts all over. Hard to see, but I think they will pop good on my fabric. Number nine is the barber shop, and also I believe a tribute to her grandfather, um, who used to have a barber shop, I believe. Um, number ten is the boutique. How fun! Number eleven is the schoolhouse. Super fun. These little, these guys. They are littler than the rest of them, so they're cute little little kids off to the school. And number 12 is the stitchery. It's the stitch shop. And it does say spider's web stitchery on the storefront there. And then in the windows, floss and patterns, fabric, and notions. It's just stinking adorable. Adorable. So, and then the other ones I have here are the ones that I have finished. So, um, and I have like this little, I don't know where I got this little notions. Like it's a little accessory bag, but I, it's the perfect size for these little whip or little patterns to sit in. So it keeps all of my patterns together for this series. Um, and then the whole bag, it's the big bag itself is from um, 
Judy. It's a Judy bag. Okay. Get everything back in its home. Because you have to put every single whip away individually or you will have a giant mess. Pro tip if you're doing a whip parade. Okay. Um, this one might be slightly offensive. Um, I kind of do have it censored though. This is in a, um, another 805 stitcher bag. Look at the, can you see the little bling on the flowers? The, it's like metallic-y looking on the flowers. Um, when I ordered this bag, she was like, I did not think that this would be a bag you would order. She didn't know what I was housing in it. Because I had every intention of housing this whip in it. I have a set of inappropriate um, sayings that I'm going to finish into hoops and hang into my bathroom. They're all inappropriate bathroom whips or whatever you have. They're inappropriate bathroom stitches. Please don't do coke in the bathroom. Um, I have a pitiful start on this. But this is going to be a um, a um, next year focus. Oh, there's like pink highlighter on this fabric. Cool. Um, I've got all my inappropriate um, needle miners on there. <laughs> um, but there's my start. And look, there's like something on my fabric right there. Cool. This is some crunchy. Can you hear it? Ada. Crunchy Ada. Um, I don't know why it's this, this big. I don't understand why it's this big, but um, okay, so I'm right here. So I plan on only stitching to like right here. This flower to this flower. The rest of the top I'm going to just leave off and then do the words. So because the other one that I already have done is kind of a half flower situation. It's not an all the way around flower situation. So I'm going to kind of copy that style. And I think I have six or seven of these that I would like to get done. So in my pretty, in my pretty, pretty bag. Okay. Next. Hopefully that squeaking chair and the squeaking all the things is not super annoying. I'm sorry. Um, next we have the... All Hallows Eve sampler. Yes! I love when the list math matches. Um, this is from Mickey's Crafty Bags in San Francisco, California. Mickey's Crafty Bags. I love this fabric. I'm pretty sure I have this fabric in another colorway. If I didn't really show it. Um, okay, in this bag we have the Hallows Eve sampler by Joan Elliott um all hollows eve sampler by Joan Elliott and I freaking love it I am still up here in the alphabet area progress wise there's literally two colors in this it's black and yellow and this is a PTP for sure I don't know what color it is but like there's the whole thing. Oh my god, this fabric is stunning! And that's where I'm at. But for sure, from the feel of this, this is PTP. It's super, super soft. So I just don't know what the name of it was. I'm sure somebody on here probably is like, oh yeah. Because I feel like a lot of people like can recognize PTP fabric instantaneously. I... I cannot. Maybe murky. Maybe murky is the, like maybe one of the few that I can recognize right away. Next, we have the Scare Day um, Stitch Along by Ingleside Imaginarium. And this bag, I do not know. I believe this was a bag gifted to me. It's got a cute little zipper pull, but there's no um, there's no tag on it anywhere. Okay. Two. There's 31 parts to this because there was a scare a day for the month of October. What I have here is just um, 
somewhere in the middle. <laughs> um, there's 31 because it will fill all the way in. Um, I just don't have all, I do have it digitally, I just didn't have it all printed. So, um, this is on a like gingham, I don't know what count linen that. <sighs> I think this was my first foray into linen, but this needed needed to be done on linen. If you plan on doing this Scara Day, I don't know if she has it for sale or if it's still in her, I believe it was free, in her um, Facebook group. It's Ingleside Imaginarium. Brittany, she's absolutely amazing. I got to meet her at Market last year. This year, she's a very amazing, interesting person. Um, anyways, what was I saying? This has to be done on linen or an even weave because there are fractional stitches all over the place. Quarter stitches, three quarter stitches, half stitches. It's back stitching is insane. So that's where it is. And when I show it up close, it looks blue, but you can see it's on an orange fabric and it is blacks and purples instead of blacks and oranges. And the purple I'm using is 552 DMC. So. Yup, that's where I'm at. I... Is Scare Day? I think Scare Day might be a focus next year. Yes. Okay, we have Hollow's Eve Haunting. This was started in October of 2020. Um, this is in a Tracy bag. Tracy, oh, I'm showing you the boring side, sorry. Um, Tracy, um, OG Stitchery. Um, Tracy, I think she's selling hers on Instagram. I think she lists them on Instagram. Look at that zipper pull. Okay, I got this from, uh, Stitch New England. So we've got the Hollow's Eve Haunting. By Autumn Lane Stitchery. And here is where I'm at. I'm on an 18 count Ada that I dyed myself. And here is where I am. A lot of 310 in that witch. A lot. Kind of go and do some on. I think I've. I was kind of trying to just do the witch, and then I was like, okay, stop. Just do the page. So now I'm just like on page one. Which is a pretty much about right. I mean, it's about at the fold. So I'm doing page one, and then I'll go down and do the, you know, the rest. <sighs> this is so much fun, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, the brain fogs. The brain fogs. Okay. Next, we have another amazing um, Pinky Promises bag. These are um, machine embroidered, but oh my god, so good. The inside, they're quilted, they stand up, they're good, like, the interfacing is nice and nice and floofy. Love these bags. Okay, this is 100 Owls. By Al Forest Embroidery. I have this as a digital pattern, so I do not have the pattern to show you. Um, but I am about halfway. And this is where I am. So, absolutely love every single owl in here. This is on 18 count, just, I don't know, brown. 18 count brown that was somewhere in my stash. It doesn't look to be like over dyed. It just, it's just like a solid. So. Okay. Then we get to turn the page. Next up, we're, oh, we are in Christmas. Welcome to Christmas. Okay, so pretty much all of my Christ Christmas whips were started in December of 2020, and um, 
yeah, I just keep working on the same 12 ish whips. I think that I'm down to like 10 now until they get done. So I have this in a cute Christmas, um, cheese, Harry Potter Christmas bag. Cute, cute, cute. It says happy holidays, um, from Dobby. It's all the Dobby socks. Okay. Me show you the pattern first. Sorry, Nancy. Sorry. Let me show you the pattern first. If I can find the pattern first. Holy cow, I can't find the pattern. There's a page in here. I know there is. There's not. There's not? What? Am I missing a page? Looks like I'm missing page one. Jeez, oh, there it is. Okay, that is what the entire pattern will look like right there. It's huge mungus though. It is 242 by 307. It's huge. This is by up to X stitch. Up number two, X stitch on Etsy. And I'm stitching this on Black Ada. And here is where I'm at. I am absolutely loving it. Um, 18 count black Ada. Yep. And it's like three colors. It's white, red, and yellow. This whole pattern. Oh no, there's green in there too. So, and hold please because the sun is calling again. <laughs> okay. He wants a new phone. Good. Great. Grand. Can I talk to you about this tomorrow? Or later? Like not right now? Oh, good lord. Okay. Next, we have, um, looks like Christmas, and it's in this amazing, amazing, this way is up, um, Judy bag. Absolutely love this bag. The inside is, oh, these colors are just so bright and stunning and wonderful. Okay, this is look like, looks like Christmas by Shannon Christine. And I'm stitching it, instead of on a brown, I'm stitching it on a gray that I hand dyed myself. And this is where I'm at. So that tree is confetti heavy. A lot of Shannon Christine's are because she likes the gradient, but she does, she doesn't use like a variegated floss. She uses like the, this is like three or four different reds. I think it's three, dark, medium, light. So, um, but they turn out stunning, stunning. I cannot begin to tell you how much I love stitching her patterns. Okay, I have quite a few of hers um, in my stash. I have some that I finished. I have some whips, all the things. Okay, this bag was made by my friend um, Zan, the Crazy Band Lady Stitches, on Instagram and on Floss Tube. And it's a nice little, like, fold over bag. Love it. It's super cute. Looks like it would be like relatively. I is this one of those where? No, I don't think so. Cause sometimes people were getting like, what do you call them? Like um, table runners, and then folding them in half. I don't know. Super cute. Okay. What do we have in here? We have Holly Jolly all year. We sure do. We sure do. Okay. So this is a series. By um, A B A A B Designs, Amy Brooken Designs, and oh wait, I have the whole pattern. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, twelve Santas, one for every month, and he is dressed according to the month. And I freaking love these Santas. They are adorable. So I have. For whatever reason, I have one and I have seven. <laughs> I don't know which one I've started stitching. We're going to find out when I pull it out. But I have one and seven in front of me here. There are beads. Um, and there are a ton of colors. And I bought all the specialty floss for it. I did not buy DMC. Um, and I am doing this on an opalescent. I 
No, it looks like 18 count, an 18 count opalescent. And I have, look, I have one whole Santa done. I didn't know I finished one whole Santa. Cute. My lip edges. It's adorable. And then I've stitched the center holly jolly all year long and I have started one up here. His feet. Oh my gosh, this fabric is all crinkly. His feet. And these are the buttons on the snowman next to him. There he is. Okay. Let's fold this up a different way because it's really wrinklies. Really wrinklies. Okay. Okay, how many times can I say okay in this video, do we think? The bad part about my son continuing to call me and me having to stop and like reset things is that I have no idea how long we've been recording now because my timer just says four minutes, but I know this is like take three at this point or section three, whatever you want to call it. Um, next is, um, this is a, actually a monthly series, but I started it in December with my Christmas whips because I started December's um, December's pattern. So this is the Truckin' Along series by uh, Stitching with the Housewives and it's super cute because it has the um, month little board up here separately from this. I mean you could stitch it together but you can also stitch it separately and these are just super cute patterns. I'm not uh, like a lot into like farming type stuff but this pattern's just Adorable, they got me. I don't know what to say. They got me. I've got all this 18 count black Ada in here, and I don't know which ones are actually. I know I started stitching something. Hold, please. There it is. <laughs> I know I started it. Um, there's the beginnings of the truck. And I think I have this little piece for the month. And then I have another piece for more. That looks more, it doesn't matter. They're not gonna be displayed together, but that, doesn't that look more black? Oh, anyways, that's where I'm at. Um, what else do I need to say? What else? I have the entire series in here because this is a monthly series. I do house the entire series in the same bag. Um, So let's do show and tell for the rest of the months. In no particular order, here we go. November, if you would like to be enabled, this is the time. October, look at those pumpkins. September, it looks like we're just going backwards in the year. August, sunflowers. July. The chickens in every one of them crack me up. Uh, June, look at those little spotted chickens. May, April, March, February, I love February. Next to Christmas, I think this is my favorite one. And January. Little happy snowman. So that's the entire monthly series. And this is in a Lynn, Lynn X Stitches bag. This was when she was doing, this was one of her like uh, quarterly bag things. She was doing women in um, STEM. Inside is like math stuffs. So. That was, the, that was my first Lynn bag, I think. Don't worry. There's more. There's more. Okay. Um, Snow Friends. Snow Friends in a Judy bag. And if this isn't just the perfect bag for this whip, I don't know what is. This is the huge enormous whip. Because I do not stitch small things. Christmas Snow Friends Banner. This is by Stony Creek. Oof. 
This is a restart because the first one I was stitching it on 14 count and I needed three or four strands and I was struggling and then my then I found out my fabric wasn't the right size. It was literally um, I cut off the stitched part, threw it away, and saved the rest of it and completely grabbed a new piece of fabric and started it again. I did start it on 18 count, which will make my snowmen have giant noses. If I can't find the proper, I mean, I mean, maybe I can find smaller noses. I don't know, but the noses are buttons. I don't know what else is possibly buttons in here. This is where I'm at. There's like eight different oh stars. There's stars that are buttons in here too. So. I'll have to find stars that fit or just have bigger noses and bigger stars. I don't know. Um, but that's where I'm at. And I love stitching it. And it, then it's all, it's all back stitched as well. Yeah. And I did do the back stitching. Ugh. Ugh. I hate that when I get close, it gets super dark, but 18 count white or very close to white off white, um, ate up. And I do need to go through and like pull all the rest of the colors and like fully kit this up because all I have pulled are all the reds for the letters. So I need to do the rest. Although I could just continue stitching the letters all the way down and then stitch the rest. But I have reached the end of my box finally. So I'm going to put these whips back up on the shelf, grab new whips to put down here, and I will be back again. And let's go. Um, box number two. And it looks like after box number two, it's just like a little bit after that. So um, I got most of them in shoved into this box this time. So um, I've got another Judy bag. Um, this is like the smaller size. She does do two different sizes. So this is a smaller size. We have to put the dogs inside. Okay. This is plaid tidings by, oh, and I even got the thread bed with it. <laughs> um, plaid tidings by the little stitch girl. I love her patterns. Let me find the French cover. Cover. Where's the cover? I have all the patterns. Hold oh, please. There it is. Ta-da. Patterns. <laughs> I mean, covers. Um, plaid tidings. Little Stitch Girl. Um, I'm stitching them individually. So, this is where I'm at. That's not where I'm at. This is where I'm at. I don't plan on stitching. Okay, so, I'm stitching the green one right now. Um, yeah, she stitched this on a snowflake fabric, so those big snowflakes are not charted. The little, like, four stitch ones are charted. So I don't plan on stitching those because I stitched mine on a polka dot, peta point, whatever we want to call this, um, fabric. And I got enough fabric to do all four. All three and then still have a piece left over so that's where I'm at on the green one and put it all back in its bag okay then we have it's snow fun have this in a Garon stitchery, Garon, Garon stitchery, tote bags, Garon tote bags bag. Oh, the words are hard. Garon tote bags is sold. They're they're LNS, ONS soon to be LNS. Did you guys see that news? They're they're opening a brick and mortar. They bought a building, um. So that's super exciting for them. Okay. Okay, this is pattern is um, Christmas sampler number two, 
Wait, that's not right. It's supposed to be a snow fun. Did I miss a bag? What happened? What happened? Hmm. Plaid tidings, it's snow fun. Then Christmas sampler. Okay, these bags might be a little bit backwards in here. I'll fix it. Um, this is Christmas sampler number two, though. <laughs> By Cottage Garden Samplings. And I'm doing this on a, um, on a lovely brown. This might be hand-dyed by me. Um, I don't know. It could be somebody else. I'm not sure. Um, that's where I'm at. Loving it. Loving every second of it. Okay, let's see if these bags are backwards. Let's see if the next one is it's snow fun. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, please, zipper pull fell apart, but that's okay. It's just a little thingy my bobber. Just push it back together. It's fine. Everything is fine. We're all fine here. Yes. The bags got switched backwards. So this bag is by That's So Kelly Co. I love this bag. Look at this, like, patch sewed on there. It's just so much fun. It's got a little tag so that you can write on there. I did have Twas the Night in there. I need to like get some alcohol um, wipe and just wipe that off. So I can say it's no fun now. It's in here. And do, 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 do. it's no fun. Country Cottage Needleworks. Pretty pinks and greens. And I'm stitching this on a lovely green pink fabric. Good lord, y'all, the words. Meh, my needle. Oh my god, it's gone forever. I can't find it. Hang on. That's where I'm at. <laughs> Filming whip parades is so much fun, you guys. Seriously, everybody should do it. <laughs> oh, that's where I'm at. Those are two different uh, DMCs in that pink. I think all of this is just DMC colors. Pretty sure. Okay, let me see if I can catch this magnet now. Ah, caught it. Okay. 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 Um, that's an even weave fabric. I don't know what count, but it is not an 18 count Ada. It's a pink even weave. I'm not sure what. Maybe somebody on here knows. 32? Two strands over two seems to be doing pretty well. So it's either 32 or... I don't think... If it was 28, I don't think I would be enjoying the two strands as much. Okay, I put those bags back in the right order. <laughs> now we have... Secret Santas. Yes, Secret Santas by Hands on Design. And so I will show you all of the patterns. Not the actual pattern. Jeez Louise. Um, I believe this is the one. No, this is not the one. Um, this is the Santa Key. This is the one I'm actually stitching right now. Holy Saint Nick. Um, Silent Night. Merry and Bright, Dear Santa, <laughs> Dear. Naughty or Nice, I like his glasses, Spread Joy, and Jingle All the Way. Now, what's secret about this series, if you have not heard of this series before, is that down the pattern is on the back. This is like a cardboard. The pattern is on the back, but down here in this section, there's a, there's a strip of a pattern on each one of these. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight of them. And they these are shaped just like the Scary Apothecary series that I have already finished. 
And I have like this window thing that I'm going to be hanging them in. So there should be nine because there's nine scary apothecaries, right? Well, with the Secret Santa series, there's eight. But then there's that little strip down there and you add all those strips up and it makes the ninth Santa and he's a secret. Unless you get all eight patterns, you can't see. And it does say like part eight of Secret Santa, part seven, part six. So you do know down at the bottom what part you're buying. But buy all eight and then you have all eight pieces to make the ninth Secret Santa. So there you go. Um, this is in an amazing, amazing Lynn bag. Um, steampunk Christmas. I absolutely love that and oh wait I lied look at that look at that I am stitching the key one because I have finished y'all <laughs> look at this needle laser <laughs> I have finished this one and now I'm stitching this one I am stitching these appear appears to be stitching these on 18 count um, green I don't know I may have I don't know it's a big piece of fabric I don't know if I dyed this or not, um, but this is supposedly enough fabric for all of them, according to whatever calculations my brain made, hopefully. Um, but yeah, they're called for to be stitched on like a blue, and then there's a lot of blue in the patterns themselves, and I'm not a big fan of blue in my Christmas. I like the red and the greens. So I switched out anywhere that she's calling for blue with browns and I'm stitching it on greens on a green fabric. So there you go. Okay, what have we got next? Death by cross stitch, which today is December 1st. Y'all happy December 1st. So if I get this done and I still have any energy spoons left, in me, I will be working on Death by Cross Stitch. Um, this is in a custom for made for me a bag by Lynn X Stitches, and absolutely, absolutely love this bag. Um, it is done in the colors that I am using to stitch Death by Cross Stitch in. If you are unfamiliar, this is a long dog samplers pattern, and it is called Death by Cross Stitch because you will literally die stitching this piece. Um, it is 363 by 447 and it is glorious the way that it shifts and moves and it's never, you're never stitching one thing for too long. Everything is, oh my God, it's just, it's a really fun stitch because it's changing up so much. So I'm going to show you. Also, the floss that I'm using is called Unicorn. It is Unicorn Colorway. It is by Dying for Cross Stitch, D-Y-E-I-N-G, Dying for Cross Stitch. She does have a website. She does do re-dyes of this Unicorn Colorway. You just have to stalk her website to find out when it is in stock. Um, it's not always in stock, but it will restock eventually. So. Now, without further ado, here is where I am on this. Again, this is a, it's going to be a giant whip, but here's where I'm at. And I'm having so much fun laying the floss in different ways, um, seeing how the variegation, just playing with different ways of the variegation. So having a, a ton of fun. I think getting all these whips out and like shaking them out is getting like fibers and dust in the air. But that's where I'm at. Um, still long ways to go. But I, ha I truly do enjoy working on this every single month. Literally every single month. Um, love it. Love it. Love it. And I, I don't think I'm going to put it away for 2024. I think I'm going to continue working on it once a month. I'm going to set this one aside because that should be tonight's whip. Um, okay. Um, happily ever after. This is my, um, where are we here? 
This is my wedding sampler anniversary. I started it on one of our anniversaries, me and my husband. Um, I've never actually stitched a wedding sampler for us, so uh, this is what we have. This is by Shannon Christine. Two huge, oof, flowers with tons of backstitching and lots of color changes. But I feel like the rest of it should be relatively easy, and it does have a lot of beads in there as well. So, here is where I am. I did throw a ton of needle minders on this thing. Um, I was going through my needle minders and I was like, you belong on this whip, you belong on this whip. And I was just putting all the extra um, needle minders on the whips that they should go with. Hold please, because they're all like stuck in all the things. Okay, 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 we're good. There's where I'm at. I got one of those glorious flowers done. So that's where I'm at. Oh, yeah, because what are you? No, oh, go away, go away, go away. <laughs> I put live, laugh, love. What did I put? Live, laugh, love on here with the um, Grim Reaper. I have my um, Athena needle miner on here and then I have one that says inhale confidence and exhale fear for you are powerful and I put that on here as well and I believe I got that needle minder I, I want to say from someone at camp but I can't I, I went to too many retreats this year I don't remember who I got what from I'm sorry but I love love that needle minder um okay Next we have Half the Fun. I want this to be a 2024 finish because I am about halfway done with Half the Fun so it should be a finish. This is in a Lynn X Stitches bag. Um, no, that's the pattern. You'll see the pattern if I flip it around. Okay, please. This amazing Harry Potter sorting hat in all of the pride colors because I have words for she who shall not be named, so bam, in your face, bam. Okay, well, yeah, maybe not halfway, but pretty close. This is where I'm at. Oh, I didn't show you the pattern, my bad. It's like ink circles, it's called Half the Fun, and yeah, it's just like a, you've got like probably a corner and it just, repeats so um, I'm also using a dying for cross stitch floss on this one as well and love the way it's laying in the variegated colors that's all one floss on there so okay do, 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 do. what do we have next we have right smack in the middle of the year um a haunted lantern by mill hill this is literally the only mill hill that i have i think in my collection and or going whipping whipping <laughs> yeah um this is this is it i am stitching this on perforated paper and i am not enjoying any of it i I seriously do not know, um, my needle falls backwards, I'm just, probably shouldn't be carrying my black thread like that either, but I don't know. That's where I'm at. <laughs> there's lots of beads, there's lots of floss, it's all came in the kit, it's all very, um, it's all a lot is what it is, it's a lot. Um, not sure where I got this bag. It's quilted. Oh wait, made with love by Barbara Johns. Barbara Johns, and it's lovely quilted and super fun fabric. Absolutely love this bag. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Now we're gonna dive into the a ton of the monthly series because May of 2021. I've got floss tube nose. May of 2021 was the mania of me starting monthly series. So I grabbed a whole bunch of monthly series that I had in my collection 
and decided to start all the maze of all the different series. So, um, in this lovely book type situation from Punky Pearl's Place. Punky Pearl's Place. Find her on Instagram. I don't know if she's got a, um, I don't think she has a, um, website. <laughs> you guys, I'm getting tired. But look at this fabric. Okay. And this book is amazing. Now I've got something in my eye to go with floss tube nose. I seriously, it's not my finger, but there is something in my eye. Okay. So zipper down the side and then you've got one, two, three, four places to house your whips. What? So you can put four different whips in here. So that's what I have done. I have the Country Cottage, oops, that's a pattern, Country Cottage Needleworks series. Um, it's the Sampler of the Month series. And there's teeny tiny on there. But yeah, there's January, uh, February, March, hopefully. Is that March? Yes. Uh, May, because why not May? Um, June, July, August, and then I think April is the one that's in the works. I don't know why May wasn't in the works, but April is the one in the works. So, yes, April. And here's where I'm at. I mean, good Lord, Athena, it's pretty much done. Um, I need to repeat this down here and it's done. So they're super fun stitches. Super fun. I love it. Um, I need to stitch on these more though. That's for sure. Um, and clearly I'm uh, missing some of the series right here, but I think, hold please, down here in this bag. I have more. So I have September, October, November, and December. And I think that's the entire series now. And I can put them all in here together. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Waxing Moon Designs series, monthly series. Um, these are sold in trios, so we've got January, February, March. These are 58 by 78. They're small, but they're pretty dense stitching. April, May, and June. July, August, September. And October, November, December. This turkey's pretty good. That's a good turkey. I love a good turkey. And where I am, apparently stitching on some crunchy Ada. Good lord, this look at that. It just stands up by itself. That's where I'm at on the May pattern. So you can see it's it's pretty big. That's 18 count. Um and some pretty dense stitching there. So that's where I am on the yacht. Go back in your home. Go back in your home. You were in there a minute ago. I promise you were. It's all the faucets in the way. Okay. Okay? Okay. Got it. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> Stop saying okay. Next, <laughs> we have a heart in hand series that I think I have a little series of. March, April, May, June, May, July, August, September, October, November, just because I do. Okay. January. Ma, February. March. April. 
These are called Monthly Mania. May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. That is cute. So, the little card patterns, and I have May started. Little bird. I don't know which way he goes. I feel like this way, though. Bird. Bird. I think that... Oh, no, that's the floss called for. His wing is supposed to be variegated, so, yep. Okay. There's, like, a needle and everything just hanging off this pattern. Just, I was just like, nope, done, stop. Paradently. Um, okay. Then we have the Lizzie Bit, Lizzie? Lizzie Kate Flip It Bits. Flip It Bits. I have a whole bunch more of those in this bag. I think I have the whole series. Right. Okay. I have finished May and like FFO'd it. It's somewhere. That's upside down. It's somewhere in my house. But there's May. And then we have January. Apparently in no particular order. March. April. Maybe I'm missing some. June. July. September. Yeah, I'm definitely missing some. October. And November. Oh, he's a good turkey too. Um, yep, I'm missing some. So I need to complete that series. But there is that series. Um, May, like I said, has been finished. So it's not even in here. But it is officially a whip. Because the series has been started. Let me zip this back together. Ta-da! Okay. I'm going to pause here so that I can go check on dinner because I'm smelling it a lot. So I want to make sure it's cooking okay. And um, we'll be back with more. There's still more monthly series. Hi. Okay. While I was checking on dinner, the kid came home and he had to fill me in because he had a very exciting day. Um, and I made myself a cup of tea. And good thing I checked on dinner because... Um, it's soup and it was kind of losing all of its liquid. It wasn't danger level, but it was pretty low. So I had to replenish the liquids. Mm. Made myself a cup of tea. This is one of my um, Primrose Cottage. Um, I think it was from last year. Sip, sip and stitch boxes, I think they're called. Okay. Let's continue, shall we? Um, I have more monthly series. I don't know which monthly series, but I, this is in a Judy bag. We have, oh, this is Raise the Roof um, Krabby. So, Krabby all year long. I will be stitching them individually. I won't be stitching them as one big piece. So I'll have individual blocks. Um, there's the first one, April through June, there's the second one, July through September, I mean really this one should be August, but July, August, September, and October, November, December, what does it say? Oh, zombies, relatives, bills. <laughs> yeah. And what, what I love, okay, what I love about Raise the Roof is there's always a little joke down here. So this one says on February, on the first one, it says celebrating things not worth celebrating. Three more months to be crabby about. Still crabby after all these months. And it's worth if your relatives are zombies. <laughs> Oh, they cracked me up. It cracked me up. And I have May started. A little bunny. 
Because what is May? Rabbits. Just rabbits. That's what they're crabby about. They're crabby about rabbits. Um, I don't know if that series is still in, is still running or not. Okay, we have, oops, I grabbed two. We have another Judy bag. Love this purple bag. Inside is bright purple. Oh, this is the Snowflower series. Um, this is a free pattern. It is still free. It is on her blog. There's nothing you have to do to obtain it, but literally go download it. There's no like sort of like donation, blah, blah, blah. So I, it says free pattern for personal use only. Here, I'm just going to fold it so that I'm only showing you the pattern, this part. I folded it horribly, but this is September. Please go to the Snowflower Diaries um, Joyful, it's Joyful World series. So you go to the Snowflower Diaries, search Joyful World, all of them will pop up. You can download them, you can check them all out. Um, what I love about this series is it's not the typical, you know, uh, snow in, in December and love stuff in January. It's just different animals for different months. So I think, I think that I actually like finished a month. I think I did. Hold please. It looks like I'm pulling different fabric every month. And no, I have not finished a month. I've just started two. Cool. Um, there's February. <laughs> And look, that, that's almost done. Like, why Why did I not just finish that? Your guess is as good as mine. It's definitely on an 18 count. I don't know what. And I think that's September. I was just showing you. It's the owls. On some other sort of 18 count. This one's like a bluey green. It's more green than... You can see it's definitely more green. In this other one. Cool. I don't know why I have two different months started, but I feel like it was because, I mean, May should have been a start, but May wasn't. February was. And I don't know. What is this one called? It was started May 10th. I wonder if I have May done somewhere, and then I started these other ones. just do not know um I think I think this one is like a crickle wood isn't it crickle wood somebody out there probably knows that does the inside embroidery um there's the back there's the front um I'm pretty sure that zipper pull came with it says made with love it doesn't really say um Oh wait, let me check because sometimes, no, no, sometimes it's hidden underneath the flaps. But I'm pretty sure it's Cricklewood Crossings. Um, and in here we have uh, monthly mockeries. And this is also by Raise the Roof. I have so many Raise the Roof months, you guys. Like seriously. Um, there's the entire thing. Again, I'm stitching them individually. So we have one, and it says, uh, not in a million years is the first one. I don't understand what that, I don't know. Um, and then we have loser <laughs> for February. Go fly a kite for March. And then we have get bent, no way Jose, and take a hike. April, May, June. July, August, September. Beat it. No can do, and two plus two equals three. Idiot. <laughs> and then I have four right here. Is numbskull turkey and shut it. There you go. Does require some Jabco buttons. So I need those, but um, I did stitch and finish May, and it is 
um, FFO downstairs, so I don't actually have anything other than that stitched. Okay, here is the series that I have been focused on all year long. Again, this is a Judy bag. Um, if you have been watching my floss tube, you know this has been the series of the year. I've been stitching the month in the month, all month, all year long. So we've got all the months. Gosh. I do not have all of the patterns because some of the patterns that I was missing were loaned to me and they have now been returned. This, that was kind of the reason that this was the focus of the year because I had those ones borrowed. I wanted to get them stitched and returned to their owners. I don't like hanging on to things that are loaned to me because that just makes me like more nervous that something's going to happen to them and all the things. So I don't have any of them FFO'd. So let's, um, let's go through these in no particular <laughs> No particular order, August, and it says August brings the sheaves of corn, then the harvest home is born. Um, some of them I have the pin, I have the buttons, I just haven't added them. January brings the snow, makes our feet and fingers glow. These, these ones are definitely out of print. Um... You might be able to find them on eBay type situations. This is February brings the rain, thaws the frozen lake again. Again. And oh, look at the look at the good job I did. I center started this. March brings breezes loud and shrill to stir the dancing daffodil. <laughs> that one's gonna be right up to the border. That's so annoying. Um, April brings the primrose sweet, scatters daisies at our feet. Yes, I stitched feet. Y'all, I have, you know there's people out there that have foot phobias? I have a anti foot, not a phobia, fetish. They have foot fetishes. I have a foot phobia. I don't, this is like crunchy. Um... <laughs> May brings flocks of fleecy lambs skipping by their fleecy dams. This is the first one I stitched. And the da the the um, lambs aren't there because there are buttons that need to be added on. So oh, this child. He's calling me again. Go figure. Should have called him while I was on break to see if he needed anything. June brings tulips, lilies, roses, fills the children's hands with posies. Let's see if he's texting me. If he texts me, then I can answer him instead of just calling me. Like, who? Okay, you know, this generation is supposed to be like all anti-calls and they want to text you all the time and blah, blah, blah. Because they can never get on the phone. Uh, my son did not learn that rule, apparently. Hot July brings cooling showers, apricots, and gillyflowers. flowers. I did a good job centering that one as well. Um, oops, this one is pinned together. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I just pinned all of these buttons to the fabric. Um, warm September brings the fruit. Sportsmen then begin to shoot. And this was supposed to be basketballs. I changed them to hockey pucks. And there's going to be like a pumpkin in here or something. Yes, it's that pumpkin. That'd be right there. And a fresh October brings the pheasant. Then to gather nuts is pleasant. I love the leaves in this one. Um, most, yes, all of these have been custom colors that I have chosen myself. Um, and I did not get November finished. Spoiler alert, I didn't get it finished. So there's still another leaf here and the words to finish it off and then I'll be done. So I still have November to finish. Um, I'm hoping to stitch on 
death by cross stitch tonight and then um, hopefully I'll finish November tomorrow but I will be kidding up um, December and getting that all prepared and ready because on Sunday I'll be marathon stitching with Ymir um, stitch and run as she runs a marathon I will be stitching with her so I plan on stitching that during the marathon so I need to get that ready to go so I will leave this out as well and where are we we are up to here okay so that was there is another monthly series that I started later so um, I think we have one more monthly series we'll run into but that was the bulk of them so now I have Harry one in this amazing Slytherin bag this did house Nagini when I was stitching her but since she's done it now houses Harry one which is by Good Morning Maui and it's just basically all the Harry Potter stuff from um, the first year and I had hopes that she would stitch or that she would design two through seven I I don't know that it's gonna happen because I haven't seen anything popping up like right there is the color of the fabric it's a it's a lovely lovely purple so that's about it right there but there's where I'm at I did a center start with the word wizard and then started stitching up the motifs I'm working on fluffy now um, this gets worked on every seventh when I have the Harry Potter chats the Harry Potter chats are open it's not a closed thing so if you are stitching something Harry Potter and you would like to join the Harry Potter chat every seventh of the month uh, message me Instagram Facebook wherever find me it's all linked down below um, send me a message and I will get you added to the messenger group. Okay. These bags are not cooperating. Oh, too many of them. We're up to like whip 48 on my list of 79. My back is killing me, you guys. Okay. Super cute Winnie the Pooh bag from the 805 Stitcher. Prior to Harry Potter obsession, before Harry Potter ever existed, I had a Winnie the Pooh obsession. All of my, my nursery for all three of my boys was decorated in Winnie the Pooh, everything. Um, I had Winnie the Pooh stuff when I was like a teenager growing up. Um, like, had my own job, had my own money, and went and bought my own Winnie the Pooh stuff. That was what I did with my money when I got a job. Um, the Prairie Schooler, um, a Prairie Garden. This is a StitchCon start, and I like to try to work on these at StitchCon, but it, I don't think it worked this last year, and I don't know. Um, I have a lot of, um, um, what do we call these? Uh, needle miners in here, and they are sticking to each other big time. Hold, please. Oh my goodness. Play nice, guys. Play nice. I put all of my Winnie the Pooh needle minders in here. Um, so, yeah, they're all stuck together. Because, yeah. Okay, okay. Here's one that I have done. I am stitching them individually. I plan on displaying them with these with the monthly series, monthly shelf thing situation that I have. Will have someday. I don't even know where that's gonna be. Um, there needs to be a section of my house that displays monthly things. I don't know where that's gonna be yet, but there's a second one. So I've only stitched those two. There's another Winnie the Pooh needle minder for anybody. Um, this fabric is. Zweigar 18 count Ada metallic. That's literally all it says. I got this from um, Keepsakes. I fully started and kitted this up at my first stitch con. So, and I am um, 
I'm, oh please, let me get this in the bag and then I could speak words. Okay, oof, so I stitched these two. Um, you can see the, the it, it calls for solids. I am stitching them in variegated different specialty stitches instead of solids, so that's what's happening. Um, cause you can see with this purple one, even the greens, the greens are not completely solid. They're variegated greens. Um, I don't even know. Maybe the greens are solid. The greens are DMC. The, the, uh, flower itself was, you know what? I don't know. There's. There is a lot happening in this bag. I wonder if I didn't pull the DMC colors and then I'm using that as my reference to pulling the greens and the flower colors. That might be what's happening because there's a lot of floss in here. Um, I probably need to like clean that up and get that situated because that's all just a bunch of DMC sitting there. That doesn't need to be sitting there. Okay. Um, this is a Lynn bag custom made. I bought this fabric and then sent it to her and she made this for me. It's like a multi-directional thing, so. And then the inside is a, this one, the inside is an orange stripey. You'll see later why that's important. Um, and this is the cryptids it should be the cryptids yes this is the cryptid sow by the witchy stitcher and it's on ptp murky and here it is um this is a this was a released as a sow individual pieces i did not keep up even i didn't even try to keep up um but there it is she had me at Chupacabra, and then I was just all in. <laughs> so, um, yep, the bottom is right there at Frogman. Frogman is the bottom, so I have a good piece of PTP murky. I can cut off the bottom, and I'm excited about that, because murky is my fave. Um, so there's, I believe there's 12 cryptids in here, one a month. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what else to say about that. <laughs> Next, we have In This House We Do Horror, and I am the designer of this amazing pattern. Um, it's a, this is in a, another um, Pinky Promises um, uh, embroidered piece. Gosh, let's just look at it. The inside is hearts. Love it, love it, love it. Um, and again, this pattern is designed by me, and it's just a bunch of quotes from a bunch of um, cult classic horror movies. So far it says, um, in this house we all float down here and you'll float too. We'll eat your liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. Um, yeah, with some needs to be stitched in there still. So I know I have missing some stuff over here. Um, we know that most people are so grateful to be alive, but not you, not anymore, I think. We know, I don't know, something about the boogeyman. I don't even know what I charted you guys, but that's where it is. This is stitched on Jody's um, blood spatter fabric. Amazing. It's a white. She does a white and then she does an off white or uh, what do you call it? antique coffee tea dyed. I've got some motifs that I'm stitching in there. Um, yeah. Um, I, I put some words into a uh, pattern into a like uh what do we call wind stitch max stitch something like that um there is a wind stitch there is a max stitch 
depending on which kind of device you have. And you just type in there and it charts things for you. So that's what I did. I just chose different fonts, typed them up, put them in there, made them fit, and then kind of played with making some different motifs. Um, if you're interested in that pattern, let me know and I will send it to you. Um, I'm not charging for it at all. It's literally just some fonts and I'm not a professional. There's probably things that you need to like clean up as you're stitching them. Like maybe, I don't know, they blend together too much or something. I don't know. It's free though. Message me again. All my contacts are down below. Email, whatever is down below. Um, and I will email you the PDF. All I ask is that when you start stitching it, tag me because I want to see it. I want to see it. Okay, next we have what? Collectors. We have the Collectors series, and this is in a Como Stitches bag. See, that's that, that's that fabric I showed you guys earlier in the purple. And now I have it in this glorious colorway. And somebody stitched me this. I was it Connie? Connie, did you stitch me this? Did somebody else stitch me this? Did I get this in a Smalls exchange? I don't know, but it's glorious and I love it. So, um, I added it to the bag. It did not come with a bag. I know that for sure. This is the Collectors by Autumn Lane Stitchery. And this is like the best pattern ever. And this is supposed to be part of a series. I know Erin doesn't watch me, but Erin, mm, Sandra, I need the rest, please. Aaron is amazing. He is just so amazing. He likes to say the word amazing, but he really is amazing. And um, I love his patterns. And look, I've got in this a little notions bag, a little thread bed um, with like a little thing to put your needle in. Oh my gosh. Whole setup of it. Okay. Whip. Whip, whip, whip. Meh. Nah. These multi okay, multiple needle miners. I don't know if it's a I don't know if it's a good idea. I really don't. They stick to each other and it's driving me nuts. Um, here's where I'm at. And I feel like that plank doctor should be on that other one that I'm stitching. Um, anyways, here's where I'm at. A whole bunch of, a whole bunch of 310. This is an 18 count Ada. I don't know who dyed it. I may have dyed it, but I intended for it to be the background color and I think I I think I pretty much nailed it called for is Yule by Seraphim Fabrics so I think I did a pretty good job though I'm pretty sure I'm I'm pretty sure I dyed this ah, okay next we have Baba Yaga. Speaking of more Autumn Lane that I love so much, we have this in another Punky, not Punky Pearls, sorry, Pinky Promises. Pinky Promises and Punky Pearls, look y'all, those are similar and I get myself in trouble. Pinky Promises, right there. Love this. Oh, it's so good, okay. And this is the Baba Yaga house. And this came fully kitted, so I am stitching it on the called for linen. Y'all. This linen is amazing. I'm not I'm not denying that even a little bit, but oof, oof. Look at that needle minder from Agnes Little Needle Minders. Oh, she makes really good needle minders. Called for linen. Not a fan. Not a fan. People keep saying, oh, just stitch on it. You'll, you'll adjust, you'll love it. Mm -mm, no, there's no, there's no adjusting or loving happening here. Um, that is Catacombs, 32 count linen by Be Stitch Me. 
love the way it looks. I just can't, I can't do the over two. I can't count and it breaks my brain. Can't do the things. I just can't do the things. This is the, um, okay. There's a group on Facebook called the Oracle Sal. Oracle Sal. I'm pretty sure that's just it. And she puts out free patterns all year long. Um, she puts them out in sections as Sal's. Um, and they have like different Oracle type motifs in them. And I, this was started in October of 21. So I'm thinking it was the, it was back then. Now, I don't think that these are for sale. Once they, once she takes them off, like once the style is complete, she deletes them and then they're gone forever. I'm pretty sure. Join the Facebook group. You might be able to inquire and ask more questions, but here's where I'm at. I don't have an overall picture of it because there was no, it's, it's literally just sections of the pattern. There's no overall picture. Um, it's supposed to be monochromatic. It's charted monochromatic. I, this is, this is a PTP, definitely a PTP. I don't know what, um, oh, and this bag, oh, this bag, again, it's Tara, my 805 Stitcher, my Tara, look at these, oh, this is so cute, okay, I have these Trinway silks, they are the I believe this was from a BNS box, Penny Penny Dreadful Colors. And we've got these four colors. Is it just these? Yeah. These four colors. Amazing, right? And then we've got uh, this that has all four colors in it. <sighs> Glorious. Okay, so this is what I'm using. I'm just kind of picking a color and going with it every time I come to a different motif different section of the pattern. That's what's happening. Um, I need to, I really want to get back to this more because I was having a lot of fun choosing the colors and just kind of letting the pattern take me wherever it wants to go. Okay, next in a mini um, Judy bag, I have ooh, Halloween and quilt. This thing is still in limbo, y'all. I don't, I just don't. <sighs> Look, I've left all these needles stuck in it. Oh, cool, I need to be careful holding this. So there's needles stuck in there, kind of marking off the edges of if I did it this way, if I did it that way, if I did blah, 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 I don't know. I put this smack dab in the middle and it should be this way instead. So I need to just map out how I want it to go. I'm trying to be careful because of those needles. Let me show you the pattern. This is a Cory bought a Cory. And um, yeah, he's supposed to go vertically. So if I put a house next to him, if I move blocks around, I don't know. This is... Oh, pattern is so good it's so good he is so good like look at this guy and can you not can you just look at him in his boots Ugh. so good I just need to figure out where to stitch what so that they fit and make my quilt fit on this fabric or just call it a day and grab a new piece of fabric and start over I don't know I really hate the I really hate the start over though. I don't want to. I'm avoiding it. <sighs> I put it on my AB single hoping that I would get the inspiration to get it out and get it fixed. Didn't happen. Okay, Scylla Witches in another Pinky Promises embroidered bag with this pumpkin. <laughs> In here we have Slow Witches by Teresa Kogut. Two colors, 
black and green. Um, she actually calls for swamp water and guacamole from Weeks Dye Works. But I think I'm just doing black. I don't even think I've pulled a green on the inside of this bag. Um, okay, this one, I think this is the one, because there's modeling. Okay, so this one is printed, because there's modeling on that side and there's not modeling on this side. So this is a printed model fabric and it is 20 count and I am stitching it to over one because I like bulky things. Um, I like to see no fabric at all. And here is where I'm at. You know, this, it's just, it's covering so good. It is covering so good and I'm not having huge issues stitching it but I I mean I love two over one on 18 and this is because this is printed 20 and not hand dyed 20 it I mean it's a true 20 because once you start hand dyeing the fabric it shrinks up right so it's truly a 20 count go back at your home okay And I think this is Halloween at Hawker and Hollow. Uh, Judy bag. Judy, Judy, Judy. Okay. Halloween at Hawker and Hollow is by Carriage House Samplings. If you are unfamiliar, there's the information. And here is the picture of the entire thing. This is a BAP. When I say BAP, I've been saying it. I feel like I've been saying it. And I'm sorry to anybody who might be new to cross-stitching. If you're just finding me and you're entering your foray of cross-stitching here, um, a BAP is a big-ass project. I'm trying to find the information sheet that will give me... It is 371 wide by 278 high. She a begging, she a begging. I'm pretty sure I dyed this one, but I'm not positive. But I feel like I probably, I mean, I feel like I did. Dropped some yellows and browns and everything in here. And this is where it's gonna be. You're not gonna see a whole lot of this fabric because a lot of these squares are full. They're, they're pretty dense. The one with the skeletons is full coverage. The one with the ocean is pretty much full coverage. So I'm on block two. I I went ham on block one and got it done super quick and um, I've been stitching on block two for over a year now. So that's where we're at. This was started as a Christmas, um, Christmas break start typically because I was working at an elementary school um, in the front office. I started a Christmas, I started a pattern at the beginning of Christmas break and it was a bath because I would then have all of Christmas break to work on it. Um, and that is what I did, I think even last year I started a Christmas break one when my son went on like Christmas break and even though I wasn't working at the school anymore, but this, this one was a Christmas break start 12, 22, 21. So I think I stitched that whole first block before I put it away. And now all of 22 and 23, it looks like. So two years I have been working on block two. Cool. Um, I don't know that I really worked on it a whole lot last year. I made this one a focus this year though. So my first Christmas break start ever was the Hade, the Cunning Hade. And then the next, that was in 2019. In 2020, my Christmas break start was Death by Cross Stitch. And then this was 21. And then 22's was Crosses of the Kingdom by Rosewood Manor. And I'm not gonna have one this year because no new starts. 
but I have a lot of starts planned for January 1st, let me tell you. Okay, next one is The River, and fittingly enough, I have this in um, my Colorado bag because the Colorado River, and home, and Platte River, and um, just, I'm trying to think of all the rivers, all the, all the good, good rivers that run through Colorado with all the fishing and all the things. And the really thing that sold me here was we've got, I've been to Mesa Verde, Boulder, I mean, Rocky Mountain, Columbine, um, there it is, San Luis Valley. It's got San Luis Valley on this fabric. And that is where my husband's family has been literally forever. This is a Garan Toten Bags bag, and it's a larger, larger one. Okay. Enough about the bag. Oh, wait. Not enough about the bag. Look. Okay. Now enough about the bag. Let's talk about the whip. The River. This is by Modern Folk Embroidery, and I am not going to be stitching that alphabet. I have charted out um, initials, birthdays, stuff like that. Um, literally, literally, look. <laughs> I've charted it out. Um, and I'm pretty sure it is ASVP, VP, JP, NP 2022 because, um, that's the year I started it, 2022. This was a new year, new, is this a new year, new start? Hang on, please. Yes, this was 1-1-22. One, one, this was my new year, new start for 22. And I am stitching it with, um, it came um, with the floss called the, I think the river, river of life or something like that by Forbidden Fiber. And that's upside down. Here is where I'm at. Um, I believe this was a Jody fabric from Steel City Stitchers. Um, she doesn't name her fabrics and she does not repeat her fabrics, so it's mine. Um, that's where I'm at. So I've stitched, I've started, I kind of, let me see the pattern. I think I've worked my way up to, yeah, up here is going to be the initials. And I kind of like, was like, mm, let's slow down and come down, down here. It says the river that flows in you also flows in me, which kind of speaks family to me. So, um, but I also did pull this out for, um, May mental health. Um, stitching because it also it speaks family but it also the river that flows in me flow, also flows flows in you also flows in me could also speak of like struggles you know your mental health issues ever literally everybody everybody right now has struggles has stress is living with post-traumatic stress from like all of the things like the, the trauma, there's just so much going on in the world right now. So, be nice, and the river that flows in you also flows in me. Everybody's struggling. So, anyways, there's my little PSA. This is where I'm at. And I'm loving this variegated floss because it goes from, like, that dark teal to the light teal, and it's just so good. So good. Okay. Oh, I held my arm up way too long way too long. That's an 18 count Ada. Again, I said, I think that's a Jody one. I have a new year, new start. Um, needle miner on there. I think that's just because this is a river and it matched the colors. I don't know my reasoning. <sighs> okay. The last one in this box and then we gotta, and then we gotta pause again. <laughs> And um, reload some more <laughs> whips. Can you even? It's so good. It's a skeleton hand holding a rose. And what better project for this bag than Rosetta? I'm stitching this with um, Ymir's Almond M&M's. Um, silk. This was our Hank 
from when she did boxes. I don't think she did boxes last year. She did them the year before. This is Rosetta by Ink Circles. And each, each one of those circles is different. Each one of those diamonds in the middle is different. The the There's no repeating. I mean, there's repeating within the circle, but once you're done with that circle, you're moving on to new patterns. You stay interested in this because it's never the same. It's, you're not stitching the same thing over and over. It's just... It's so good. Um, Tracy. Tracy Horner. I'm not mixing up my designers, right? I believe it's Tracy Horner from Ink Circles. Oh, freaking genius. Freaking genius. And here are your mirrors. I'm trying to, my light is over there, so I'm trying to get the light on it. There's your mirrors colors. They're stunning. It's not even color. It's just, it's one, it's one skein. So it's variegated and that's just how it's laying down. And I freaking love it. Love it. So that's 18 count, um, just cream colored Ada. Here's the inside of this bag. Oh, with the rock on skeleton hands. Okay. That's the last one. I gotta flip things around. Um, we are up to do, 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 do. that was Rosetta so that is number 59 on my list so we've got about 20 left that one was started April 1st of 2022 so we're not we're not done there was a lot started in 22 and one started in 23 okay hold please um, it'll be two seconds for you I'll be right back okay y'all we've started this at one o'clock it's almost four. I don't, I'm pretty sure the recording parts is not three hours, but whew, this is taking a while. Okay. Whew, okay. We're up to Superior Bees. Flip my page back. Superior Bees, and this is by Summer House Stitchworks, and it is actually called Superior Bees Professor Hyberman's Clockwork Pollinations. Oh, and I need, I need her to make some more, even though I'm not even close to done with this here, but I need her to make some more steampunk thingies. Look, I went to the store and went like ham on steampunk things. Look at this. Oh, can you even? I have all the, all the things in here. Um, and it's in this Halloween steampunk bag by Lynn X Stitches Creates. Love it. Love it, love it. Okay, let's show you the whip. 18 count Ada. More of that same, I feel like this is that same PTP that I don't know what it's called, but it's another piece of it. And here's where I'm at. Look at that giant hive, all solid black. Um, okay, that's the other thing. Hang on, hold please. So you see the hive is solid black, right? Well, those are French knots. Those are all French knots. And then I think that there are more French knots. There's more, I know there's more. I know when you look at the pattern, there's more. Anyways, I got beads. I got little petite beads and those will be beads not french knots so and i know we counted and i feel like there was some god awful like hundred hundred and some um french knots I'm trying to see where else there were french knots at oh around the frame around this there's French knots in and around here. Mm. That might be it. That might be it. But yeah, I got beads to work with instead. So, what do we get? 
Oh, I think I got two different kinds because I couldn't decide. But it's probably going to be these ones. It's going to be those ones. And I got like duller ones, but I like these ones. And they're tinier. So, yeah. Okay. In a small Judy bag, I have a touch of magic. This was a sow by B -b 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 Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Um, I think I have the pattern all digitally, so I don't actually have the. Um, I don't actually have the pattern to show you. This is printed um, fabric, and here's where I'm at. I'm changing, so far I'm changing the um, things that are supposed to be stitched in white to this purple etoile. Um, there's more white stitching that's going to be happening, and the white just really blends in. Um, so I'm going to see what I need to do when I come to those colors, or those whites because there's like a ghost and I'm not stitching a purple etoile ghost. I don't know, that would be kind of cool though. We'll see. So, when I come to those kinds of sections, I will figure it out. I think there's also a moon that's all basically white. And I have a hair in my mouth, a fuzzy of some kind in my mouth. Okay, Summer and Stars Hollow, which also, I believe I have fall, no, spring. Fall is already done, so I have spring and stars hollow I'm going to put in this bag, as well as summer and stars hollow. And here, no! Oh, falling down. Here's where I'm at. I'm stitching them individually. Wait, give me this pattern. Wait. Oh no, we're good. Okay, there's more over here. I was like, is there more over here? Did I do this? Yeah, this is the edge. So then there's going to be some more over here. Okay. My brain. There's going to be the Jeep there. And there's, I don't know. Got pretty far on the house though. That's going to be filled in. It's not going to left be left like that. It's going to be filled in with more color. This is, it's completely solid full coverage, so everything will be filled in. But that's where I'm at, and I'm, I'm putting spring in, spring in here as well because this is a series. So I'll add that in there. Go in your home. Thank you. Okay. Then we have Athena. <laughs> Athena is in this glorious dragon custom custom dragon bag by Lynn X Stitches. Um, I love her. I love her. I love her. Oh, I do not have the pattern of Athena. Um, there's the inside of the bag. All the colors. And just because you need to see what Athena looks like, I'm actually going to, because you cannot tell from this at all, any sort of Athena by Mira Bilia. I can never spell that right. Oh, it got me there. Cool. Thank you. Appreciate you so much. So much. Thank you. Okay. There she is in all her glory. She is huge. She's huge. I'm stitching this on even weave. Um, probably a 32 count. Um, yeah. This is the right way. Yes. So that's all I've gotten stitched in there. Um, it is. Can I zoom in? It is like 
right around here-ish of her dress. So, I've got my Medusa needle minder on there, a couple Medusa needle minders, and a unicorn one on there. Um, the Medusa needle minders kind of crack me up because, I mean, let's be real, gods and goddesses are spiteful. And um, Medusa was cursed by Athena. She was because she, Poseidon was messing around and Athena cursed Med Medusa instead of Poseidon because, yeah. Um, this is for Rogwarts. I, there's nothing to show you in here. No, there's not. Because I... I mean, I'll show you the pattern. But I... For anybody who's not been watching me, I stitched him. I stitched him on some um, parchmenty colored fabric. And um, my fancy floss was way more blue and way more red than it should have been and I should have not I should have just I was trusting the floss to like somehow come together and look right and it just never did I shouldn't I should have not continued stitching it but I did and it was came out he came out very red and blue I wonder if I have him in here he came out very red and blue and I'm not seeing him in here. Um, I have floss for days in here, but I'm not actually seeing the Dementor. Um, so he became my patriotic Dementor. And he was, it was a center start, so he was the first and only thing I had stitched. So I tried to dye him with black dye. And it did not take at all. So... I ended up cutting him out, scrapped the rest of the fabric into, not like, I mean, put it back for something else. And um, then the Dementor series was kind of born, and hasn't been started yet, but it's still kicking around in my brain, to like stitch the Dementor in all the different seasons, colors, different things. So... Um, and then, so now Frogwarts Year 3 needs to be a restart and has not been restarted yet. So, and, and then there's year four, one, two, three, year four should be in here too, year four, year four, and I haven't started that one either. So. All the colors are in here. Everything's in here. I just not started it. And this and super. Look at the artwork on this bag. Can we even? Look at all the mandrakes. Ugh, I love this bag. Okay. Remember that Linux Stitches custom bag I showed you earlier with this amazing fabric on it and all the different. Yeah. The inside of this one is black. The inside of the other one is orange. And they're housing the companion sister whips so this is the supernatural sal um and literally this is all i have done a uh, siren and the beginning of a banshee and instead of saying supernatural up here i want it to say um creatures to match cryptids my cryptids and my creatures that is the plan and I don't have any of the floss in here because if I pull this to work on it, I'm going to pull cryptids at the same time because cryptids and supernaturals have the same floss. So they were housed in the same bag, but because I did this whole um, start date organization, I put them into two different bags so that they could have their... Because they... Cryptids was started in August of 21 and Supernatural July of 22. They're pretty far apart, so. Okay, next is Halloween is for tourists. Um, <clears throat> I live here all year. Let's see. Let's see. I think 
No, no. I should have like a teeny tiny picture that I can show you. Kind of, I mean, that's kind of it. October 31st is for tourists. I live here all year. Um, where's the whip? Jeez Louise. Okay. Uh, it's opening. I have this little pair of scissors in here. And here's where I'm at. <laughs> so this was like a bunch of Halloween starts back to back to back to back to back. Um, last Halloween, last 22 Halloween. And so they didn't get a lot of progress in them. So that's where I'm at though. And this is um, in a bag that was made for me by all the way across um, down under. I was gonna say across the pond, but that's in, in my mind. If I say across the pond, that's like England, Europe. This is made from down under. Um, Liz stitched by Liz made me the this glorious, glorious bag. Love, I love it. Um, and it's got a Halloween whip in there, but that's okay. This is a dot dot goose. Pretty sure. It doesn't say, but I'm almost, sh oh, right there. Dot, dot, goose, bag. And this one, was it this one? I think is going to be a focus finish for the year. I have my lists here. Hello, pumpkin. Yeah, focus finish next year because, I mean, let's be real. This is Hello, pumpkin. <laughs> um, and... It's literally just like, boom, right here. It's got different pumpkins in there and it just says, hello, pumpkin. Um, this pattern is by Salt and Pepper Designs. Um, yeah, it's super cute. It's digital, that's why I don't have it to show you, sorry. And I'm using um, Almond m ms floss. And it's called a uh, pumpkin spice potion. And then I'm using like a gray for their faces. Yeah, I'm using light gray for their faces. I'm loving the way that's coming out. Oh, next we've got Wama Wink. Wama Wink. And I put her in this super colorful Lynn X Stitches bag because she is super colorful and she deserves a bright bag to be in. Um, I put cute little pink um, needle minders. This is actually her Wama Wink. Um, again, this is a digital pattern so I don't have it to show you, but this is Wama Wink. This, this pattern is from a show called Centaur World where all the animals are basically centaurs, all of them. So this is a llama tar because she is a llama, but she's also a centaur. So she's a llama tar. There are other animals that are all centaurs and it is the most ridiculous, stupidest show that you will ever watch. And it's just like, why? Why am I even watching this? I don't understand. Um, but it's also like one of those train wrecks that you can't stop watching. And it's kind of like, if you're in like, sort of like, I need to shut my brain off and not think about things, like put this on and you will just go brain dead for a while. <laughs> so, and then I have this, uh, oh my god, this amazing fabric by... Dying for Sass, D-Y-E-I-N-G, Dying for Sass. Oh, if this isn't the most perfect thing for Wama Wink, she's probably just, I mean, she's just gonna be like right here. So she's gonna be on like this green part and I'm gonna have all the rest of this left. Oh, it's gonna be so good. I don't know what I'm gonna stitch on the rest of it, but this fabric was perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, 
Next we have, um, okay, this one is another one that is, if, if we're sensitive to the F word, we need to probably look away <laughs> for a couple of minutes. Um, this is in another one of those, what, those bags that's like embroidered on the inside, I'm pretty sure, Kirkwood Crossing. And there's a cute little Mickey Mouse zipper pull there. Okay. Um, stitching, stitching this with, oops, stitching this with um, an m ms um, floss. I cannot remember what it's called, but I have a whole jar of it so that I have enough to stitch this. Um, it was in her... It was in one of her boxes, and then she was gracious enough to dye me some more so that I could stitch this. Um, this is literally the F word, um, but it's in like Lisa Frank font. So, oh, this amazing purple fabric. I don't know where I got this fabric, but it's glorious. Um, 18 count. Mm might be 16. This might actually be 16. But there we go. It'll say F-U-C-K. And this amazing floss. And I freaking love it. It's so much fun. Okay. Then let's see what else do we have. We're almost there. We are almost there. The ghost, Ghostly Cauldron. Um, I think I have all, I think I have three cauldrons. Um, but the one I am currently stitching is the Ghostly Cauldron. And this is by Sprouting Lupine. Lupin, however you, I think it's Lupine. Um, this one is, oh. Mm, who are you? Who are you? Was this, is this? I, mm, I feel like this might be from Down Under as well. I feel like it is. I think it is. Okay. This from Liz. Stitch by Liz. This is where I'm at. This amazing purple. No. Stop turning it blue. You're turning it blue and I don't like it. It's amazing purple. And it keeps wanting to turn it blue. But there you go. It's purple. And... Um, I'm just stitching this green border so far. I don't stitch anything else yet. And I'm using for the green border uh, Tropical Green by Threadworks, which I probably need more of from somewhere. Um, but that's where I'm at. And that's, that's linen. That's linen, y'all. I don't know what overcame me to buy this linen, but that's linen. And I chose that all on my own. Okay. We've got the Stitching Sisters by um, Mama Witch X-Stitch. And it's in this bag by... She's on Etsy and she makes a lot of... She mostly makes a lot of um, gram guards. And I bought a ton of gram guards from her when I was buying gram, when I was using gram guards. It came with this cute little, and I bought the gram guard that came with it as well. And her name is completely escaping me. And that is so annoying because she has really, really cute bags. Let me look at my Etsy and then go to my purchases and then she should pop right up because uh, I buy from her. I bought all those things. I bought all those Graham guards words. I bought a lot of things on Etsy. Sure, sure do you. 
please. Crab Shack Stitchery. Crab Shack Stitchery. Um, she makes super cute little, she usually has them together. Um, I added this myself. Turn. Thank you. I love a good um, everything matches situation. Okay. The pattern, people. The pattern. This, did you know that this was mostly a bag show and tell? I bet you didn't. I don't know what's falling out there. Okay. Stitching Sisters by Mama Witch X Stitch. There you go. They are adorable. I love them. And here is where I am stitching up on that first page. You know, mine are matches the project bag. Stitching up on that first page. That's where I'm at. I think I dyed that fabric. Okay. Um, Stephen King House in this Lynn X Stitches bag. Um, this is the carpet of the Shining Hotel. In here it just says, um, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. And then it has like red rum and blood splatters all over it. It's really good. Ugh. Okay. This pattern is by the Witchy Stitcher. And it is the Stephen King house. In all its glory. And I am stitching this. It came fully kitted. And I'm stitching this on. 18 count Ada. Did it come kitted? Did it come with fabric? Or did I pick this fabric? I may have picked this fabric. Yeah, there's no like fabric listed on here. So I think I picked this fabric but I picked it to look like I think it did a pretty good job it did not come fully kitted no there's no way um but yeah I love this fabric so and I mean yeah this will fit I have counted <laughs> I have freaked out about it before but it will fit so that's where I'm at just doing a lot of black, stitching a lot of the um, outside of the outlining of the house. So I don't even have this fully kitted. I just have a thing of black stuck in here. Um, we're on to the last page. We're on to the last page. Holiday Express by Forbidden Fiber. Um, she's in a little bag, but I can't have... I will lose a little bag, so then I put it in a Linux stitches bag as well, because I will lose this little bag if I put it on the shelf. And this is the Holiday Express. This was her sow from last year, um, Forbidden Fiber, and you can see it's going to be a train. I got, I got some pretty good stitching in on it before I fell off and gave up. <laughs> um, it's opalescent, 18 count, 16 count, 18 count. 18 count Ada um, and yeah like it was her uh, holiday box from last year so I have all the floss in here and everything and this cute super cute project bag to keep it all in with the zipper pull but again I put it in this so that it doesn't get lost on that shelf then we have my um, new year new start for 20 Wait, what? Holiday Express Crosses of the Kingdom. Oh, I put this as a New Year New Start because I wasn't going to do a New Year New Start because no starts in 2023. So I did start this 12 22 which was Christmas break. But I put it in my New Year. This bag is a Judy bag because it's a flip bag, right? And she did a Velcro closure for me instead of the, the elastic and the button because I put the design on it and I did a special run of bags and I am thinking that next year I might do that again I might do that again I have some plans so we have crosses of the kingdom and I love it, love it, love it, love it. 
And here is where I got to. Unfold the fabric. Needle binders are sticking. What's happening? Ugh. Y'all, the needle minders are struggles are real. There we go. Some of the first cross. Kind of look like eyes. This is stitched all in rainbow gallery um, sparkly flosses. All the sparkly flosses. Um, rainbow gallery treasure braid. Petite treasure braid, yeah. Ooh, sparkly. So even the black. Even the black. Sparkly. So much fun. And it's really, I am enjoying working with that. I did enjoy it for the little bit that I stitched on it, but I did enjoy it. Okay. Um, then we have, then we have Bikini Monthly Challenge. Yes, Bikini Monthly Challenge. Shoe monthly challenge monthly stitch um, this is by Meridian designs this is the February one and it's the teeny weeny bikinis and I plan on stitching um, all the months I have already stitched January so oh, oh she's so good um, they're just fun they're just so fun and there's tons of beads and it's just there was like chronic back stitching and it was it was just a lot of fun this was a start for um, the 614 stitcher candy for her birthday she wanted to start the bikinis so we all started them together and then once I found out there were monthly bikinis y'all know I had to go in on the monthlies so there's my start on the February one and I have like a ton of beads and everything in here. And I even have a bead bed in there to do all the beading stuff. So, yep. That's the last monthly series that I have started. I have a ton more in my stash. A ton more. And last but certainly not least... We have the Simple Gifts Courage um, that I started with Pam from um, Just Keep Stitching for in honor of her um, anniversary of her breast cancer diagnosis and she has defeated it and has enjoyed many, many more years and so many, many more to come. So she decided to start this as a sale this year. So I joined in and I decided that it had to be a start this year because this is the year of my MS diagnosis and I needed to stitch it in all orange for MS and that's where I'm at. Mm, nope. That's where I'm at. Mm -hmm. um, and this is like bright orange and it keeps wanting to like wash out on me but it is bright orange um i'm stitching it in dmc colors um two different dmc oranges you can see there's a light orange and a dark orange in the pattern there's light bits and dark bits and then there's courage and then there's like the rest of the alphabet right so these this is part of the alphabet but the whole alphabet is in here including there I think I'm going to still stitch courage and then I'm still going to, the rest of it, I'm going to stitch multiple sclerosis all up and around. Um, and then my needle minders says under it and I told you I was sick. <laughs> so that is that. Okay. 
We did it. We did it. We did it. I, and I'm like torn now. Like, okay, this is really long. Do I just keep going and make this a three hour video and talk about my 2024 plans? Or do I stop this video and make a 2024 plans video? I think I'm going to upload it as two different videos because I really feel like a lot of people really like the whip parade. Um, and then a lot of people like the plants. Um, it might be two different groups of people. So I am going to be done here, but I am going to also continue on to do the 24 plans. I'm just going to upload it as two different videos. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for sticking with this, hanging out, seeing all of my whips. We're about 70 whips. Um, pretty sure. And it's been a lot of fun pulling them all out, looking at them all, seeing where they're at and excited to stitch on them some more, get some more progress in on them. So, um, thank you so much again for hanging out and watching this special edition floss tube extra, whatever we want to call this whip parade of 2023. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.